Master Rothschild has reported plans to dispatch a legislature-endorsed digital money called FedCoin which he says will totally decimate the risk Bitcoin stances to the U.S. dollar. The Rothschild-controlled Federal Reserve asserts that the new FedCoin will see the finish of other prevalent cryptographic forms of money, for example, Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum, and will enable the U.S. government to better control and direct the computerized cash advertise. The Economical Lapse of Blog.com reports, just a couple of days back I cautioned that worldwide national banks could in the end attempt to take control of the cryptographic money marvel, thus I was profoundly frightened to see the Post distribute this kind of an article. We need digital forms of money to remain totally free, and we unquestionably don't need the Federal Reserve and other worldwide national banks to begin making their own adaptations. As a result obviously once they make their own particular renditions they will need to begin limiting the utilization of any contenders. The one thing that could crash the cryptographic money upheaval quicker than whatever else would be obstruction by national governments or worldwide national banks. Tragically, now that Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum and different cryptographic forms of money are getting so much consideration, it is inescapable that the forces that be will make a move. On Monday, the Washington Post distributed an assessment piece by Professor Campbell R. Harvey of Duke University that was entitled Bitcoin is Enormous. However, Fedcoin is greater. These days, there is a plan behind basically everything that the Washington Post distributes, thus it isn't only a happenstance that they have distributed an article with Fedcoin in the title. Here is the manner by which that article starts. In the course of recent weeks, Speculators have been running to Bitcoin, the advanced money whose esteem has taken off by around 2,000% in the previous year alone. And keeping in mind that numerous business analysts are advised against fervor about Bitcoin, which has gotten up to speed in what might be one of the greatest theoretical rises ever, it's imperative to note exactly how progressive the innovation might be. In fact, the innovation hidden Bitcoin could on a very basic level change the way we consider cash. Teacher Harvey goes ahead to clarify that it is just a short time before paper cash is eliminated, and that some variant of Fedcoin is inescapable. Be that as it may, it doesn't need to be. The Federal Reserve and other worldwide national banks could simply allow us to sit unbuthered and enable us to make our own particular monetary forms. The digital money unrest is moving along fine and dandy, and there is no requirement for any kind of obstruction. Yet, I have an inclination that the forces that be will inevitably fabricate some kind of a digital currency emergency on the off chance that one doesn't occur normally. In the fallout, they will endeavor to present some adaptation of Fedcoin, and numerous in the overall population will be exceptionally appreciative for the arrangement that the administration has given. What's more, that day might be nearer than we might suspect. Truth be told, the U.S. government has just put millions into digital money investigate. To fan the fire, the U.S. government has been thoroughly considering Bitcoin for around two years now. And as opposed to battling Bitcoin, the feds appear to be ready to wipe out the U.S. dollar by making their own computerized cash. The National Science Foundation 1A U.S. government organization that backings and assets explore, has granted $3 million to three U.S. colleges for colossal digital money investigate. Cornell, the University of Maryland and the University of California Berkeley will concentrate on growing new digital money frameworks that, as indicated by vital examiner Elaine Shi, will address torment focuses ascribed to Bitcoin and other existing systems. The Federal Reserve is a long way from alone. Other worldwide national banks are doing their own particular research, and the Bank for International Settlements says that every single national bank may in the long run require their own particular digital forms of money. The accompanying originates from CNBC. National banks may one day need to issue their own digital forms of money, the Bank for International Settlements said in its most recent quarterly audit. Regardless of whether a national bank ought to give an advanced other option to trade as most squeezing out nations, for example, Sweden, where money use is quickly declining, the Sunday report said. However, 
all national banks may in the end need to choose whether issuing retail or discount, central bank cryptocurrencies, bodes well in their own particular setting. This will be a basic stage for the digital money unrest, on the grounds that the general population of the world will need to make it exceedingly obvious that they don't need national bank cryptographic forms of money. National bank cryptographic forms of money would basically be an expansion of the present obligation-based framework that is efficiently oppressing humankind. The thing that makes digital forms of money so awesome is the way that they are not obligation-based and they are enabling humankind to express freedom from the present framework. As existing fiat monetary forms fall flat, we need there to be autonomous digital forms of money that individuals can use as an option. What's more, we don't need to simply envision what that would resemble. Actually, it is now occurring in Venezuela. Be that as it may, in Venezuela. The fall of the Bolivar has constrained local people to swing to options like Bitcoin and neighborhood group issued monetary forms with settled trade rates. The fast disintegration of the Bolivar's esteem influenced ordinary exchanges to like purchasing basic supplies and paying cabbies untenable, clients needed to pay with extensive, lumbering piles of Bolivars that were hard to transport. Patricia, a Venezuela based correspondent, tweeted a photograph of the 5,000 Bolivars, the greatest sum, she could pull back from an ATM in Caracas. They're worth around 5 cents. Le expressed that she had held up 20 minutes inland to get 5 cents in hyperinflated cash worth practically zero as team, as per CCN. Despite the fact that Bitcoin exchanges can take hours, even days, to settle, neighborhood dealers have promptly grasped the advanced cash. This is an insurgency that can possibly totally change the worldwide monetary framework, yet I have an inclination that worldwide national banks will never give it a chance to get that far. The present framework pipes actually trillions of dollars to the extremely best of the evolved way of life, and the world class are going to enviously watch their brilliant goose.